Looking ahead, the Royal Australian Air Force's Lockheed F-35 combat capabilities are set for a significant upgrade, with locally produced joint strike missiles. The Australian Ministry of Defence has officially confirmed an $850 million US dollars investment in a new production facility. This factory will be established in collaboration with the Norwegian company Kongsberg Defence and Aerospace through its local representative office. The facility, to be located at Williamtown near Newcastle, will manufacture and service naval strike missiles and joint strike missiles specifically for the Australian military. The joint strike missile, crafted by Norwegian company Kongsberg Defence and Aerospace, is the go-to missile for the F-35 a Lightning II. Think of the JSM as a fifth-generation, air-launched cruise missile with a knack for precision strike missions against both sea and land targets. A standout feature, it's the only long-range, anti-ship missile that the F-35A can carry internally, helping it keep those stealth characteristics intact. Australia's been eyeing the JSM for quite a while, with serious interest dating back to 2014. Just last year, Australia officially confirmed the JSM for their RAF F-35 fleet, although nothing is set in stone yet. There's a good chance. The new plant will cater to the regional market, especially with South Korea and Japan also showing keen interest. The move to invest in a new factory might indicate that negotiations between South Korea, Japan, and Norway are moving toward a likely purchase shortly. The Joint Strike Missile stands out for its impressive capabilities, particularly when paired with Australia's F-35 fleet. This missile, designed to be carried internally by the F-35, maintains the aircraft's stealth while offering enhanced long-range strike capabilities. Such features are invaluable for targeting high-value, well-defended maritime assets, a pressing issue in modern conflict scenarios. The 2023 Australian Defence Strategic Review underscores this strategic shift recommending the acquisition of the JSM for Australia's F-35S to boost their aerial strike potential. According to the Defence Post, the Joint Strike Missile JSM, showcases advanced targeting technologies like a passive radio frequency seeker. This enhances its effectiveness against sophisticated enemy defences, enabling precision strikes without needing to overwhelm the target with numerous less capable munitions. This means higher efficiency and lower collateral damage. Integrating the JSM into the Australian Defence Force's arsenal supports broader strategic objectives, such as strengthening regional deterrence and addressing emerging threats in the Indo-Pacific region. The missile's development is part of a broader initiative to enhance defence capabilities, highlighting Australia's commitment to staying at the forefront of military technology. The new NSM and JSM production facility is projected to create over 500 jobs during its construction, and roughly 100 permanent positions once operational. On the economic front, the project is expected to inject nearly $100 million into the local economy, strengthening the manufacturing sector and creating job opportunities in the region. This initiative also underscores the Australian government's dedication to bolstering national security while fostering local industries.